Hey everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and have a look at this beauty. <laughs> As you can see in today's video, I will be attempting to do some sewing. <laughs> now, if any of you have been following me for a little while, you'll know I'm not a sewer. So this is going to be super basic for the people that don't sew and can't sew. This is the video for you because I am one of those people. But what I am going to attempt to do today is to create some farmhouse pillows. Now, I picked up these tea towels from Target. I had in mind to use them to make some farmhouse pillow covers because, I mean, have a look. They're just perfect farmhouse type uh, print. You know, you've got your ticking type grain sack sort of print. And then this one here is that one so i just thought oh i saw those and i thought i have to make some pillow covers for these what i'm going to do is use one tea towel and a piece of this drop sheet so i'm going to set the camera up and take you through step by step and like i said guys this is as basic as basic as it gets. I'm not a professional sewer. I have no desire to be a professional sewer. There's probably a million better ways to do this. But to me, I think I've come up with a pretty simple, pretty basic way of doing a pillowcase cover rather than using hot glue. I mean, I know you can use hot glue to do a no-sew pillowcase, but I... I intend to wash these because our stuff tends to get quite dirty with us being sort of on a few acres and it gets very dusty so I need them to be able to be washed so I'm not that keen on using hot glue I just don't know how that will go through the wash so okay so first thing you want to do is lay your tea towel out you can iron this if before you start if that makes you feel better it i mean i'm not because i'm lazy <laughs> lay your tea towel flat on the table with the back of the tea towel facing down so where you've got your tag and your seams going in have that facing down so you want to measure how wide the tea towel is so we've got 20 inches wide that's for you guys in america where can you see that there 20 inches wide or 51 centimeters for you guys in australia so we want to make it the same width and the same length so we want to measure 20 inches up this way as well and on your 20 inches mark you're going to fold that part of the tea towel over okay so you want to make it a perfect square. So just check that you've got your 20 inches. Pin that one into place so it stays like that. And do the same to the other side. So just double check you've got your 20 inches or your 51 centimetres. And then pin it into place. That's your square tea towel. We're going to leave this flap on because we're going to need that. Okay, so once you've pinned that in place, next you're going to cut your drop sheet. Now I've already pre-cut these and I've just cut it roughly, very roughly. And what I did was I cut it a couple of inches longer than the pillowcase itself. You can pretty much cut it like all to size on the other three sides but just leave a little bit extra on the top to lay your tea towel right side down and that's folded under facing down okay and then you want to pin your whole thing pin it all together and when you're pinning it just make sure you've got all three of those hems all lined up so that you're pinning them straight down Okay, now that it's all pinned, all we're going to do now is sew along the three edges and we're going to leave this flap open, the one where you have folded the tea towel under, you're going to not sew across there. Okay, so all sides now are sewn apart from the side where we folded over the tea towel. So what you can do now is just trim off all the excess.
okay so now we're left with that now turn it inside out or turn it the right side out so you should be left with something looking like that and now I'll just grab a cushion insert jam it in here Now, fold that flap under there and then turn this flap. Over this way. So that's what you're left with. You've got your tea towel on that side and your uh, drop cloth on this side with a nicely <laughs> finished seam using the tea towel seam on that side. So easy. So I'm just going to make a couple of more of these now in the other two tea towels. All right, for this next pillow, I'm just going to be using drop cloth and I'm going to be making kind of like a patchwork style pillow. Um, I've seen a few pictures on Pinterest of the style that I like and I'll insert a couple here so you see what I'm talking about. So what we're going to need for this is my pillow insert is 20 inches by 20 inches. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to make like a shaggy patchwork style. So the stitching we're not going to be doing it from the inside out we're just going to be stitching and keeping a shaggy edge. I'll show you in a minute. So for my pillow insert that is 20 inch by 20 inch, I've cut two pieces of drop sheet that are 30 inch by 30 inch. Probably a little bit excessive, but I've not done this before and I'm not using any sort of pattern. So I'm just pretty much doing it on camera for the very first time. So you might not need that much, but I just wasn't sure how much I was going to need. So that's why I've just done 30 inch by 30 inch. So that's going to sort of give me five inches on each side as leeway to do what I want to do. Okay, so I've cut out my two pieces of drop sheet. And what we're going to do first is decorate with some patchwork. So what I've got here is just another pillowcase that used to be on the pillow that I was using. And I'm just going to use a little bit of white chalk just to mark out the edges on my drop sheet so that I can concentrate the pattern and everything that I'm going to do on it in the center of the actual pillow. But I've just marked in chalk the corners of the middle of this drop sheet. Now I've got some other scraps of drop cloth that are slightly different shades and and I'm gonna make these like frayed as well maybe something like that and then we're now just gonna fray some of the edges so to do that I think they fray pretty easily you just basically pull out some of those fibers so you get something like that and then do that to the all the rest of them all right so that's the three pieces all frayed now so what i'm going to do is actually pin them to this sheet and then we're going to sew these on first and then sew the pillow together now i'm going to sew each one on separately but I'm still going to just pin them into place so I know where they're going to be. So they're going to be moved out the way on there. So I'm going to sew this one on first and then sew each one over the top. All right, so we've got our design all stitched on so for me that's going to be the top this is the bottom what we're going to do now create a flap in the pillowcase so here's a standard pillowcase so see how it's got a flap on the inside so that you can tuck your insert under that and it's not seen what we're going to do now is just sew that flap on here's the top we're going to flip it over and i've just cut an extra piece of the drop sheet and we're just going to 
align it to the top and sew this flap straight across the top. So when we put the back sheet on, we're only gonna sew the three sides of the back sheet, if that makes sense. And then this is gonna create the little frill. And I'm just pinning it roughly where I want to actually sew. I'm just gonna sew a straight line across the top there. See, my problem is I have a thing in mind of what I want it to turn out to look like, but a lot of the times I don't actually know how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so I keep winging it until I get there. Most of the time it turns out, but yeah, <laughs> sometimes not. I'm not going to start right on the edge. I'm going to probably start about here. Okay, so I have front of my pillow here. I've sewn on a little flap at the top. Like I said, I've left... I've left a gap at the top, so I've just sewn it across here. And now we're going to sew the backing piece on to this one. My backing sheet is going to come on top. Okay, so this is what you should be left with. So you've got your sides all sewn there. This is the top. So you can see there's a flap under there to tuck the insert in and you've got your backing bit there. What we're gonna do is fray up and trim up these edges so that they're all equal. And that's pretty much it. Now what I do want to do is try and have one of the edges a little bit shorter than the other. So I want maybe the front edge a little bit shorter so that it's creating a bit more of a frayed look. So this one, I'm gonna cut maybe what about an inch away i'm not good at inches um, to me that's about two centimeters maybe a bit bigger it doesn't have to be exact because you're going to be fraying it anyway and see then the backing the backing one is a little bit longer again so that when it gets frayed it will all be a little bit raggedy, I hope. So now it's just a matter of picking out all those seams and fraying them all up. So here's the finished pillow. I'm really, really happy <laughs> with the way it's turned out. Now you can see what I mean by the shaggy edges. I have one a little bit shorter than the other and yeah i've just like spent took me a long time to fray all the edges but no i'm really pleased with the way that's turned out so this is the top now let's try and show you so here's the top we've got the flap that fits over the insert and then that bit just closes like a regular pillowcase and we've still got some fringing at the top there so here's all the pillows now on the sofa i'm really happy with the way they've turned out that's that's kind of the look i was going for like that sort of shabby farmhouse type style i've made a couple of bigger ones here same sort of the same way i've done the smaller ones so i've got the smaller ones with the flap of the tea towel going over the top then i've done these ones more like a pillowcase style so i have the flap going on the inside and they're double-sided as well so i've got the ticking stripe on the back and then just the drop cloth on the front and um yeah they're really nice comfy pillows to snuggle up with now and same with that one so these three are the big sort of squarish pillows and then these little ones are the tea towel ones. And then I've got another tea towel one over there as well. And this one's the same. Ticking on the back and that there. Now I may even go back and do some sort of stenciling on these plain ones. But for now, I just like the plain look. Um, that sort of shabby sort of farmhouse feel. I'm really, really happy with this one. I love it. I just, I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but each one of these pieces is a different shade. 
So I just really like how subtle that looks and all the fringing and the frill all around. So yeah, really happy with that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. I know my instructions <laughs> were pretty, pretty terrible because honestly, when it comes to sewing, I've got no clue what I'm doing. I don't have a pattern. I just wing it and hope for the best. So they all turned out pretty good this time. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.